Leads are overrated in your striping business. That's right, I said it. And in this video, I'll tell you why I think leads are so overrated and what you can do instead to grow your business in striping. What up, yo? Uh, thank you so much for watching and listening today. Appreciate you guys. You know, the question I get so much is about leads. You know, a lot of guys want to get more leads in their striping business because they want to be busier and they want to make more money. Um, I approve of those things. Be busy, go make more money. However, I think we kind of, as business owners, get a little bit over overhyped and we overvalue what leads actually are. And uh, I'm going to share my thoughts on that here. So when somebody asked me, um, this just happened yesterday, somebody sent me a message on a, on, a, on a channel and they said, hey, I think I could be busier. How do I get more leads? What do you suggest? So right then and there, I can't give you a silver bullet answer because I have no idea what your business looks like. I have no idea where you are. So many factors that go into that. But the question I ask people when they, they ask me about getting leads is, well, why do you want more leads? Now, if the answer is because I want to do more business, I think you should really evaluate what a lead actually is. So a lead is basically any opportunity that you have where uh, either you go to somebody or somebody comes to you. It's an opportunity to do business. It does not mean that you're going to get the job. It does not mean that you're even gonna progress down the, the sales process with somebody. It just means that there's somebody who is interested in doing uh, business with you. So. When people say, I want more leads, I think what they're actually trying to say is, how do I get more qualified, ideal clients who want the thing that I have? And there's a big difference there. So there are lead generation services out there. Uh, I know in the States, big ones are like uh, Angie's List. I think it's just called Angie now. Um, or Home Advisor. Or there's companies like that that promise to sell you leads. And while I think, you know, you should probably do due diligence and look at them, in general, I think those are terrible ideas because all those companies are going to do is sell you potential people who might not be a good fit for you. And it's really up to you to do the legwork into guiding the, your, your customers to a solution. So uh, instead of, you know, thinking about leads from like people coming to your website and sending you an email or phoning your phone, asking for your stuff, what we should really figure out is how do we get in front of more qualified people who want the thing that we have. So to do that, um, in my, my recommendation and the, why we wanted to do this video was really the value of you building meaningful relationships with ideal clients in your market. So if you just wait to rely on people coming to you and you're waiting for those leads to come in, some of them might convert to jobs, but a lot of them won't. Um, a lot of people who visit you know, our website form, for example, um, are either just kind of looking for a price on something to get an idea of budgeting costs, or they're just shopping around for the cheapest price possible, which in our case is uh, unfortunately not usually us. We're not often the cheapest for line striping or snow removal or any of our other pavement services. So instead of waiting for those leads to come in, here's a couple things that you could consider to get more qualified work instead of just leads coming to you. Uh, number one, go back to the customers that you have done business with, even if it was this year or in previous years, and, and work at building a working relationship with them. So don't just go to them and say, hey, can I work with you again next year? Um, maybe you get fortunate and they say yes. But ideally what you wanna do is you go back to them and you, you engage with them, you find out how the experience was for them, um, ask them if there's any value or anything that you can do for them the following year. You basically wanna keep the relationship going with them. So instead of view, viewing each job you do as a transaction or like just a way for you to send an invoice, view the people that you do business with as an opportunity to build a working relationship with. So in our company, what that's looked like for us here at Laser is a lot of people that we've done business with right from the very start of the company, we continue to do business with. And it's because we don't just you know sit and wait until they need something and then they call us. We try to be proactive. So we reach out to them, we make sure that we're top of mind and make sure that we offer value to them wherever we possibly can. Another great suggestion you can do to get more, more work and more qualified leads is go to the customers that you did do work for and just flat out ask them for a referral. Like, be, especially like if you're a newer business, especially and you're just starting out and, and people know that about you, that you're you know, a newer business, you just started doing striping, 
If they're happy with the work you did, go to your clients and say, I'm looking to find more awesome clients like you. Do you know anyone else who would benefit from the service that I gave you? And just doing that, if people like the job you did, they will have no problem referring you to other people in their network that could use the thing that you have. People by nature, they want, if they're happy, they're gonna want the, the people in their circle to be happy too. So asking for referrals, great way of doing that. And then the third thing I would suggest is be proactive. Like don't, don't sit, around, uh, sit around waiting for people and leads to come to you. Um, our, like, don't get me wrong, inbound leads are a big part of our business, but what's helped us to really, really grow to over seven figures in summer revenue is being proactive and going to find new clients that uh, we would like to do business with. So that's as simple as you locating parking lots that desperately need striping. That's somebody that you should reach out to. You know, uh, either pop in and visit them. Um, LinkedIn is a fantastic tool for trying to find the people and the decision makers of properties. Um, usually you can Google an email, or sorry, Google search and try and find the email for the property manager or whoever's managing the mall you wanna work at. But reach out and, and do some of that, that prospecting work to try and find new ideal clients. Um, that's a, being proactive is just the best way to get more work. Don't, don't wait for people to come to you. If you have something good, go try and offer that to other people in your market. So, in summary, leads are overrated. Um, if you can convert your leads, if you're getting high quality leads consistently and you can convert them to sold jobs, then that's great, that's fantastic. But don't get caught up in the trap that all leads are good leads and don't get caught up in the trap that I just need leads in order to be busier. Go find good leads, go find qualified people and your business will take off.